YouTubers, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're wondering why you're waking up between three and five in the morning, you landed on the right video. Today, I'm not only going to tell you why you're waking up at that time, but I'm also going to tell you what to do. So if you really want a clear understanding of why you're waking up between three and five, you watch this video all the way to the end because you guys know I'm always giving you guys extra information to help you with your manifestations and with your spiritual work. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is the Law of Attraction metaphysical channel that brings you life-changing information. So listen, support this channel, join the family by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, let's get started. I'm back. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about waking up between three and five in the morning? Now, listen, you guys, I get this for so many people telling me that they're waking up at all odd times of the night and they're like, Yvette, what does this mean? So listen, watch this all the way to the end because you guys know I give you information that you can actually use and it's easy to understand. Now, before we get started, I just want you guys to understand we're not talking about having difficulties going to sleep or waking up at 12 or 1, you know, unless you went to bed at 8 or 7, okay? We're talking about waking up specifically between 3 and 5. Now, listen, you guys, if you guys are waking up at other times of the night or having difficulty sleeping, it could be because you ate something wrong, having a little depression, anxiety, worried about what's to come the next day or what you've been through in your life. So we're talking about specifically waking up between three and five. Now, let's get to this. When you're waking up between three and five, you guys, I'm going to tell you right now, out of the whole entire 24 hours of the day, between three and five is the most powerful time for you to do or have any spiritual connecting. Okay, when I say that, I mean, if you're asking for questions in your life and you're having, you want answers, three and five is the time where you might get that answer. When you're trying to get messages or trying to get information about how to proceed in your life, this is the time you're going to get some messages. Why? Because everything is quiet between three and five. Everything, you can hear the crickets outside at that point. Not only is everything quiet and there's not all these messages floating around in the universe, but inside of you is quiet. You just came from a sleep. And you're still in a deeper um, brain activity at that point. You're not fully awake. So the conscious mind is not blocking messages from coming in. Why? Because you're not thinking of a thousands and thousands of things at that time. So you are more alert subconsciously and the messages come through. It's nothing blocking. There's no door there with the conscious mind sending all different messages and at the same time denying other messages. So this is why a lot of your messages come through at this time. Now, moving further with this, if you're having problems or if you feel like um, things, you're looking for answers in your life, the universe is going to give you the answers at this time. The more you build on this, the more powerful it becomes. Now, how can this happen? Between three and five, it could have been a dream you had right before you woke up. Or you could have had a dream while you was in the REM sleep and your inner self woke you up to help you recall that dream before it faded away. In that dream could have been a message to you. Now, if you guys don't do dream recall or not working on remembering your dreams, I'm telling you right now, you're missing out on life, okay? Now, another thing that could be going on at that time, if you're looking for messages, the universe could tell you, be telling you to get up at this time and work on whatever it is you're trying to do. The universe could be waking you up saying, hey, look, you're supposed to be writing a book. Hey, look. You're supposed to start your business. Hey, look, don't go do this tomorrow because this might happen. Whatever it is, it is a message. Nothing happens in this world by accident. 
nothing. Everything has a reason, okay? And again, you guys, I'm going to give you some more information specifically about this time, okay? Now, what would I do uh, waking up between three and five? If I am looking for a message, the first thing I might do is wake up and lie there and keep my mind clear of anything and try to recall anything from any dream that I had up until that point. Why? Because again, messages come through your dreams. But if you're not practicing remembering your dreams, you miss the whole point. So anything, you write down anything that you may recall about a dream that you just had. Now, oh, how are you going to do that? Get a journal, get a book and put it right by the nightstand with a pen and start writing down whatever you remember. Water, falling, snakes, crying, whatever it is, an elephant, a green elephant. Just write it down and then look it up later on about what it could mean. Now, the next thing after that I would do is that after I went to the bathroom, came back, if you are trying to receive a message or anything, I might would sit up, plant my feet on the floor, hands up in the air, palms up in the air to be open and receptive to receiving any information that there is. Now, you can do this and sit in your favorite chair, but the whole thing is, is to have socks on or your bare feet, connecting yourself with the ground, connecting yourself with the mother earth so you can get that energy and that connection to receive information that you may need. You may have set an intent to receive a message before you went to sleep. This is the time to sit there and just clear your mind and don't make things happen. Allow your inner self to just bring the messages to you. You can sit there and you can absorb or get any message or whatever comes to your mind, write it down. Again, nothing happens by accident. The next thing, if you engage in meditation, this is the most powerful time to engage in meditation. The thing is, you plant your feet, palms up, and take deep breaths in and out, in and out, and let whatever comes to mind come to mind, okay? And remember, just let it come to mind. Again, nothing happens by accident. If you engage in out-of-body experiences and trying to master it or trying to have your first out-of-body experience, this is the best time to have an out-of-body experience, okay? Listen, if you want to know more about out-of-body experiences, please go to my video on this topic and I'm sure you will have one. Another thing you can do at this time is engage in lucid dreaming, okay? Going back to the dream. You guys know I'm an angel. You guys know I'm a dream person. So at this time, if you get up, you go to the bathroom, you come back to bed, you can set the intent to remember whatever dream you want to remember. Now, again, when you have a lucid dream, you're basically aware of your dream and feeling it as if this is real. That is a lucid dream. Out-of-body experience is when you actually disconnect your astral, the astral body from your physical body and you experience life while your conscious mind is asleep. So all of these things are best done between three and five, okay? And another thing is that when you're talking to your angels, asking for guidance, asking for direction, asking your inner self, what is it that you need to do in whatever particular problem you have? This is the best time. Now, listen, we're not talking about forcing something to happen. We're not. We're talking about you waking up between three and five and feeling good without all of these things in your head. At this point, you're more calmer and you're just stating whatever it is you want to know, okay? Or doing whatever you want to do. And again, because the universe at this time is quiet, because you're quiet, you're going to open yourself up for communication. You're going to find out, is it that book that you're procrastinating on that you need to start writing? You're going to find out, start that business. You're going to find out, get that promotion. You're going to find out, put that resume in. Whatever it is that you need to know between three and five is the most powerful time. Again, I need you guys to write out whatever you guys get. Whatever message, whatever words you guys get at that moment. I'm telling you guys, 
because nothing happens by accident. And it is a reason why you're waking up. It is a reason why you heard the word, I love you. you. It's a reason why you heard somebody say your name. It's a reason why somebody said, go do it. There's a reason. Again, you might get a flash in your mind of a picture of a building. You might get a flash in your mind of going to the bank. There's always a reason for whatever message you get, okay? So listen, you guys, we just spoke about waking up between three and five. Why? What are you supposed to be doing? Are you supposed to be reading the Bible at the time? Is that a good time for you to be doing prayer? Is that the time where the universe wants you to engage in prayer work and get messages as you pray? This is the time where you're going to get whatever it is you're seeking. And that is the answer to your question. So listen, you guys. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and I'm always giving you law of attraction, metaphysical information to change your life. Please join the family by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell, okay? And you can follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching from me. You can also go to store.myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can buy crystals and candles and sage whatever it is you need for your spiritual work. Again, we just spoke about why you're waking up between three and five, what it means and what it is you're supposed to be doing. Again, this is Yvette and namaste.